Welcome to our tutorial on how to deploy AppLocker with Microsoft Intune. We will show you how you can create, harden, and deploy AppLocker in your environment. We will do this in three steps. In the first step, we will create an AppLocker policy. If you already have one created or you are already experienced with creating AppLocker, you can skip this part. In the second step, we will export the created AppLocker policy. In the last step, we will import the policies and deploy it with Microsoft Intune. We will also have a look on how we can harden the AppLocker configuration. This optional step is not necessary, but recommend it. Let's start with the first step. We will create a new AppLocker policy with the help of the local group policy editor. I highly suggest to perform the steps on a test machine. I made my experiences trust me. On the test machine, click the Windows button and R at the same time and search for secpol.msc. The local security policy will open. On here, navigate to Application Control Policies and click on AppLocker. On here, we are going to configure the AppLocker policy. There are five subcategories, executable rules, Windows installer rules, script rules, packaged app rules, and DLL rules. DLL rules can have a big impact on your system. Just keep this in mind. Right-click on the AppLocker and click on Properties. On here, you need to activate the subcategories you want to manage. If you want to enable DLL rules, you need to activate it on the Advanced tab on the top. I will manage all four. Just make sure you enforce all rules. Click on OK when you are finished. First, we will enable the default rules for all four. Right-click on one setting and choose Create Default Rules. The default rules will make sure that your operating system will still function normal and will not impacted by the AppLocker configuration. Create this rule for all four. We now can set our custom rules. You might have some requirements for your environment. I will, for example, block CMD and the registry settings. But this is very open to your needs. To create a new rule, right click on the accordingly group and click on create new rule. Click on next. Here, choose Deny and click on Next. You have couple options how you want to block something. I recommend to use the Publisher option. Now we can browse for the application we want to block. In my case, I want to block the command prompt. Choose the file name as reference file and click on Next. Set some exclusion if you have and click on Next. Click on Create. Perfect! You have created your first custom rule. Do the same with all the applications you want to block. I will also add the registry editor to my list. I won't show you the whole process again because it is exactly the same. Just a speed up version. When you have added all your application, we can proceed with step two. In step two, we will export the AppLocker policy to a XML file. This allows us to import it to Microsoft Intune and deploy it. Just follow the steps. It's really easy. In the local security policy, right click on AppLocker and click on export. Choose where you want to save it. We will need this XML file in the next step. Open the XML file with an editor you want. I recommend to open it with Notepad++. It's the easiest one. Perfect. We can now deploy it with Microsoft Intune. We are now going to deploy AppLocker with Microsoft Intune. We will create a new configuration profile and copy-paste the AppLocker configuration into the settings. Just follow the steps. First, go to the Intune portal and log in with your administrator. Go to Devices, Windows, and Configuration Profiles. 
Click on Create and Create New Policy. Select Windows 10 and later for Platform and Templates for Profile Type. Choose the custom template and click on Create. Give it a name and a optional description and click on Next. Now we need to create for every rule collection a separate row. We will start with the executable rules. Give it a name and description. For the URI, enter the setting as shown in the video. If you want to copy the settings, you can go to the blog post, which is linked below the video. There is everything explained again with all the instructions. For the data type, choose string. Now to the tricky part. Open your exported XML file. In the file, you will have different rule collections. In that rule collection, you will find the type EXE. We need to copy the complete rule collection, but only for the EXE rule. So search for the end of the rule collection first. With Notepad++, this is highlighted. Now just highlight all and copy paste this into the value field. Perfect, that's all. Now we need to repeat this with all the rule collections. Next, we will create the MSI rule collection. If you have not configured this, you of course don't need to do this. Give it a name and enter the URI. This URI is also in the blog post if you want to copy it. Just go to the video description. Enter string and go to the XML file again. Now search for the MSI rule collection. Copy the whole MSI rule collection and enter it in the value setting. That's all. Click on save. I will repeat this also with the script and packaged app rules. The process is exactly the same. Just make sure you only copy the script part of the XML file. Now the package app rule. Enter the URI and choose string. Now make sure you only copy for the correct rule collection. Click on create. If you are also deploying the DLL configuration, I will show it real quick. It's exactly the same, just the URI is different. You can of course find also this URI on the blog post. I won't create the DLL setting because I have not set any app locker rule for this collection. I will close this for now. If you have created all your settings, you can proceed with next. Assign the app locker policy to a group or all devices or all users. Click on next. Enter the applicability rules if applicable and click on next. Review and create the policy. Perfect. You have deployed AppLocker with Microsoft Intune. If you want to change the AppLocker configuration, you can just edit the rules in the local security settings and overwrite the current settings in the Intune portal. AppLocker is a very good tool to secure your environment. However, AppLocker is not as secure as you think. The default configuration can be bypassed really easy. In this optional section, we want to show you how you can harden your AppLocker configuration even further. I will use a really good GitHub page from the user API Zero Cradle. 
Shout out to him. You can just search for Ultimate App Locker by Passlist or copy the link from the blog post. On here you will find App Locker by Passes and see how they work. If you are interested, just have a look on here. On this GitHub, there are not only the explanation on how to bypass AppLocker, but there are also predefined AppLocker block rules, which you can download. Just click on the AppLocker block policies on the homepage. Here you will find the templates for DLL, Yexi, scripts, again DLL and Yexi again. I will directly implement those into my configuration. Please have a close look at this configuration and test it before you deploy it in your production environment. There should be now big problems with it, but just to make sure. Download the templates as shown in the video. I will implement the EXE and script hardening templates. For this, we will need the exported XML file from step two again. Open both XML files. On the right side, I have my own app locker configuration. On the left side is the configuration from the GitHub page. We now going to insert to our own configuration. I will start with the EXE template. In the hardening template, we need to search for the rule collection. We need to copy the inside of the rule collection. So just copy what's between the rule collection of EXE, as shown in the video. Copy it and paste it into our own AppLocker configuration. Just make sure you copy it into the same rule collection. Perfect, that's all for this hardening template. I will do the same with the other ones. Open the other hardening template. We will do the same with this one. In this file, we have hardening rules for the script rule collection. I will first search in my own app locker file for the script rule collection. Now I just copy the rules from the template and paste them into my own app locker configuration. Just make sure you paste it into the script rule collection. Perfect. I think you understand how this is working now. You can do this with all the hardening templates you have, or maybe you have found some other ones. For the end, I will just edit the existing policy in Microsoft Intune with my new XML file. Just edit the policy and go to the rule collection you have changed. Just copy the new configuration. You see, with the hardening rules, it's getting pretty big. Just copy all and replace it with the existing value. Save it and repeat with all the rule collection you have changed. When finished, review and save it. Great! You have learned how to deploy AppLocker with Microsoft Intune. If you have any question, just comment below or go to the blog post in the description for further explanation. Thanks for watching and see you soon.